Welcome to this video on VORs. VOR stands for VHF Omnibearing Range. There are three types of VORs, terminal, low, and high. Terminal VORs go from the surface to 10,000 feet and have a range of 25 nautical miles. Low altitude VORs have a range of 40 miles up to 18,000 feet. And you can see the difference with a high altitude VOR but from 18 to 45,000 feet has a range of 130 nautical miles. With a VOR, we can track lead directly to it, track a course to it, or track a radio from it. In this tutorial, we're going to be using Crazy Woman VOR. It is a real place, it's not made up. We'll be taking off from Gillette, Wyoming in a Cessna 172. You can see here is Crazy Woman VOR. The frequency is 117.3, the identifier is CZI. We need to tune 117.3. The large knob tunes the numbers to the left of the decimal. The small knob tunes the numbers to the right of the decimal. When you have the correct frequency, press the frequency transfer switch. 117.3 is no longer in standby and CZI is indicated. We now need to change from FMS or GPS to VOR1. Notice the HSI says VOR1, but we do not have a course needle. We're now in the air, flying on heading 210, but the HSI is pointing to north. We need to do something to it to fly to the VOR. We can press the course knob that will center the course deviation indicator. The course is now 230. We need to turn right to a heading of 230. Now that we're established on our course with a centered needle, I'm going to show you how to bring up the DME, Distance Measuring Equipment. Select PFD, we're going to make a change to our primary flight display, and select DME. Now we have a DME, 117.3, and we are 39.9 nautical miles. The number is getting smaller, indicating we're getting closer. We're now going to fly the 210 degree course to the station. The circle is us, the line is the intercept. Spin the course knob until the needle points to 210. Fly a heading of 210 will parallel the course. We have to intercept the course. Draw a line from the little airplane straight up to the top of the green needle so it's about 240 degrees. We can use that as our intercept. We'll fly the 240 heading until the green needle centers. It looks like this and we'll turn back to 210. We just want to always correct towards the needle. If the needle's to the right, go right. We're about to cross the station. When we cross it, the DME will not read zero. It will read our distance above the VOR in nautical miles. Directly over the VOR, the to from flag flips to a from. It's pointing to our tail. And we can see the DME start to increase, meaning we're flying away from the VOR. We're now going to fly from Crazy Woman VOR on the 319 degree radial to Johnson County Airport. All we have to do is spin the course knob until the HSI needle points to 319. You can see 319, I actually put course 318, but it'll still work for this. Once again, if we draw an imaginary line from the small white airplane to the top of the green line on the CDI, that'll give us our intercept heading. In this case, approximately 360. Course deviation indicator is starting to center. Once it gets to center, we'll turn left to a heading of 318 and match our course. Or you can simply select nav and let the autopilot capture the course and track it by itself. Close to a VOR where the sensitivity is high, the autopilot will fly left and right hunting for the course, but it eventually will find it and fly a straight line. Once again, 
We know we're flying from the VOR in two ways. The to from flag is behind us. That is a from indication. And also the DME is increasing, meaning we're getting farther away. You can now see I've cut ahead some and now it's at 7.2. The autopilot is engaged and we're gonna continue flying along until we see Johnson County Airport. And there's Johnson County Airport. We followed the radial, went right over the airport, and took us right to it. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to send a message and ask. Thank you for watching.